Hey church, my name is Ethan. Um, it's my pleasure to be with you this morning. I'm part of the team here in central Manchester and more specifically, part of the greatest team in the world, the audacious young adults team. If you're a young adult, 18 to 30 in this city, Manchester, come and find us at Audacious Church. We'd love to have you. We'd love to hang out, introduce you to the family. It'd be amazing. But it's my privilege today to bring you a devotional. We're going to be looking at Psalm 9, verses 9 to 10. So turn with me quickly, grab a cup of coffee, grab a tea. Maybe it's the evening and you want a piece of toast. Who knows? Um, but turn with me. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. I love that we serve a God who brings us refuge in times of trouble, that when we're experiencing the storms and the trials of life, which we know we're going to face. Jesus tells us in the book of John um, that there's going to be trouble in this world. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. And we love that we serve a God who brings us refuge, that we know we're living on the side of victory, but that we're still going to face storms. And we have a person, Jesus, who we can go to, to find wisdom, to find comfort, and to find the love of the Father in and throughout our circumstances. You see, I don't know what your 2023 look like. I don't know if you can really relate to the psalmist in Psalm 9, who is facing times of trial and trouble. I don't know if your 2023 looks like um, struggle or looked like um, just lack in any way. And I know that there were seasons for me where it felt like that. But I went to God and I said, God, I need you as my comfort and my safety in this season. But what I'm believing for you this morning in 2024 is that circumstances and situations which in 2023 looked like safety and refuge um, and, and comfort in the Father in 2024 are going to be seasons of breakthrough. I'm believing that where we have um, been so stuck and used to the comfort and the refuge of the Father, that we're actually going to access the supernatural power of God in our lives to bring breakthrough into those circumstances. And believing that us as audacious believers, would we not get stuck in our ways of comfort and be and be um, complacent with where we're at, but actually that we serve a God of the miraculous. So in 2024, in this new year, let's come into it with a higher level of faith, a higher level expectancy, ready for the miraculous power of God to work in and through our lives. Let me pray for you quickly um, and then you can have whatever you're doing today. Um, dear Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you for your presence with us in this moment. Jesus, we thank you for what happened in 2023. However, good or bad, God, the fact that we've made it to 2024 is enough for us to give you praise. So Jesus, we thank you um, that we have got an opportunity in this moment to bring honour and glory to your name. And God, we believe that circumstances which were of refuge and were of safety in 2023 are going to be situations of breakthrough in your name. God, we pray, would you bring glory to your name um, and we love you. Amen. Great to be with you this morning. Have the best day. Peace. Mm -hmm.